It's been four days since we have left Suez Canal and we're headed towards our loading port in Brazil. So it will take us about another 12 days to get there. So it's going to be a long voyage. By the way, today is a Sunday and since we still have a long way to go, we decided to give the guys a little R&R, sort of a break. Now, coincidentally, it is the chief mate's birthday today. So we decided to throw him something special. We're going to have a swimming pool party. Now, other ships have a swimming pool built in, or it came with the design of the ship. But unfortunately for us here, we don't have a swimming pool. But that's not going to stop us, right? So we decided to build one for ourselves. Let's check it out. Not all ships are built the same. Some have excellent facilities, while others were built with almost no regard whatsoever for human comfort. If you ask me, our ship is somewhere in the upper, better half of the scale. It's not perfect, but with proper management, life on board, it's not so bad at all. You just have to make the best of what you have. We wanted to have a swimming pool party. We didn't have a swimming pool. What we had were a few wooden pallets, some pipes, angle bars, a few sheets of canvas, a lot of ropes, and an unlimited supply of seawater. We made the best of it, so now we have a swimming pool. And of course, we had to set up the barbecue to complete the theme. At times like these, everyone pitches in at the grill. The chief cook is still busy up in the galley preparing the food, while those already on deck will be the ones to do the cooking. Some companies, especially those that operate tanker ships, don't allow barbecue parties on deck. As of the time this video is being recorded, our company has not prohibited open flame cooking on deck. So if you're on board a ship and want to do the same, check it out with your company policy first. While everyone was busy, I decided to go for a dip and enjoy the cool water of the Mediterranean Sea. To fill up the pool, we used the GS pump to take seawater and line it up to the fire line, then rig the fire hose, which coincidentally can be used like a high pressure hydro massager. Now that's fancy, don't you think? After a while, the rest of the crew started diving in. Some of you might find it funny or even absurd seeing grown men having fun as if they were kids in an improvised tub. Well, honestly speaking, I agree. But the thing is, there's nothing else to do on a ship except work, sleep, eat. You only have a few hours of recreation. And unfortunately, in most ships, recreation facilities are very, very limited. 
and the pandemic made things much worse. As I mentioned before, we were headed towards Brazil. Normally, the crew will be very excited at the prospect of going ashore. I mean, it's Brazil. What's not to get excited about? But with the current situation, it is very likely that we won't be allowed to get off the ship. Not just in Brazil, but for any port that we go to while this pandemic is ongoing. So, in the interest of preserving everyone's mental health, we have to find diversions, or even make them whenever we can. With the grill fired up, the smell of food made me hungry, so I took a break from swimming to get a few bites. The aroma of grilled meat and fish was enough to whet everyone's appetite. For those of you wondering, the only alcoholic beverage allowed on our ship is beer, and only in limited amounts. Each of us had like two bottles and we went through it really fast. Cooking is almost done and lunchtime is fast approaching. It's time to set up the table, gather everyone, say grace, and greet the birthday celebrant. If you ask me, there's nothing better than good food to lift the spirits of every crew member who works tirelessly each and every day. Except perhaps the anticipation of even better food and some R&R during the weekend. In my experience, a crew with high morale works a lot more efficiently and tends to align their goals with yours. You can demand them to work hard all you want, but if the crew is demoralized and you're the reason why, <laughs> you're in no place to expect good results. If you expect the best from your people, you also have to give them the best. Or at the very least, make the best of whatever you have. <laughs>